Hey, what's up guys, Eugene from Pentland Designs, and today I have a pretty big update on my coin sorter. The previous coin sorter actually had gotten featured by the 3D printing nerd, and he'd done a review of my old design, and had a few minor critiques that it would, uh, when it was spinning, it would kind of get caught on itself sometimes, and the hopper didn't quite stay down uh, all the way, so then two coins would end up coming out at once when they weren't supposed to. So I just made an update that fixed these main two issues. So with this new design, all of these sleeves snap into place. And so all these sleeves just kind of snap in place. So this made it so that now when adding or removing coins or refilling or emptying it, it's a lot easier. So one of my most popular requests was to make it so that these sleeves were the exact lengths of what you would do with the paper rolls of coins. So that for like the quarters, it would be $10 or pennies, it would be 50 cents and so on. And I was gonna do this, but the issue that that ended up leading to was that when you were spinning this and the coins were just starting to get all the way up to the top, is that if there was, when there was only about two coins left to go, it actually kind of get jammed in because the coin wouldn't fall down um, properly because there's just nowhere for it to go. So these sleeves are actually slightly longer than what's supposed to be. And then I have separate files that you could print as well that are the exact length. So you just have to transfer um, your coins into those and then it'll be the exact length and you can just fill that up. So that was that issue. The other thing was that the hopper now connects differently. But here you can see there's a little connector that uh, the pin goes through this entire base. And I did this because um, in the old version, if that pin broke, you'd have to reprint the entire base that was here. And then that just took way too long um, to reprint. This uh, base here was a total of four hours. So one, the whole base itself is much shorter and much faster to print. It's about less than an hour now, but the pin is still a separate piece. And that makes it so that if it does break, you could just replace the pin instead of having to reprint the whole base over again. So that actually goes in from the bottom up and then the connector for the hopper to that pin is exactly the same as before. It just has a higher tolerance than last time so that it has less of a tendency to be able to be lifted up on its own. The whole design is now a little bit more compact than the other version and this makes it so that if you wanted to sort all the coins in say your car, you could just take this and just put it inside your cup holder and just spin it whenever you get random change and then just take these sleeves out um, and then take out all the quarters and stuff or whatever you're using for tolls to make it really easy. Um, that was the main reason I made it so compact and also just so it didn't take up uh, very much space on your desk if you want to do that as well. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Um, like or dislike if you I like this content. Leave a comment if you'd like to have an idea for a future video or if you'd like to see me do a design feature of how to model this coin sorter. All right. Thanks for watching.